S1 from June 2011 GCE. Question number four. Past records show that the times in seconds taken to run 100 meters by children at a school can be modeled by a normal distribution with a mean of 16.12, uh, 16.12, and a standard deviation of 1.6. Okay, so the times taken are such that they're normally distributed with a mean of 16.12 and a standard deviation of 1.60. Okay, so a child from the school is selected at random. Find the probability that this child runs 100 meters in less than 15 seconds. Okay, so we're going to have a normal distribution bell curve. Okay, the mean is 16.12. Well, that's the mean over here. And you want to find the probability that they run in less than 15 seconds. So 15 seconds is going to be over here somewhere. So you need to find the area of this section once we've standardized everything. Okay, so we got to find um, what the value of Z is for this 15. So the probability that the time is less than 15 is the same as the probability that z is less than the standardized value of 15 which is found by the z value is x minus the mean over the standard deviation okay so it's um it's going to be 15 minus 16.12 over the standard deviation which is 1.6 so we've got to find the probability that z is less than 15 minus 16.12 divided by 1.6. Let's get the calculator here. So you're going to have 15, sorry, 15 minus 16.12 over 1.6. That gives us minus 0 0.7. So we're going to find the probability that z is less than minus 0 0.7. So if we standardize this value, then once it's standardized, uh, we're going to look at the area here. Now, um, the area there is basically the same as the area over here. Because the Z values in our table don't go uh, up to go, go to the negative side. So we need to find this area here. So if this is the same as the probability that Z is greater than 0 0.7. Okay, but again, the Z values that we have only tell us the area to the left of those values. So basically, if we take the area to the left of 0 0.7, okay, and it's going to be all of this, if we do 1 minus that area, we'll end up with what we need. So we need 1 minus the probability that Z is less than 0 0.7 okay that's basically what we need so we go to our table of values and we look at 0 0.7 for z okay which is over here this is 0 0.7 so 0 0.7580 0 0.7580 so um, let's just paste it here in case we get that wrong yeah so, whoops. Okay, so that's the value from the Z from the table of values for the normal distribution curve. Um, so the Z value of 0 0.7 gives us an area of that. So it's 1 minus 0 0.7580. And that will be our answer. So you have 1 minus 0 0.7580. 7580 and that gives you 0 0.242 0 0.242 and there is the answer to part A okay now part B it says on sports day the school awards certificates to the fastest 30% of the children in the 100 meters race estimated two decimal places the slowest time taken to run 100 meters for which a child will be awarded a certificate okay so basically the fastest children uh, 
children are going to be the ones whose time is, of course, below the mean. The fastest 30% are going to be the ones whose times are below the mean. So we're going to try, we have to try to find out what this time is. Okay, we have to try to find out what this time is here. Okay, we're such that, that this area is 0.330%. Okay, so we've got to find out what that time is. We know the mean is what 16.12. We know the standard deviation was 1.6. This was the, uh, the information. It was 16.12 the mean and 1.60 squared the variation. Okay, so now we need to find what value we get here for the time. So what we need to do first is we need to find what the Z value is such that 0 0.3 is the area to the left of it. Now again, our table of values, okay, if we go 0 0.3 would be one way I think we can find an, um, a value in the table which is underneath this table where we get, we've got the probabilities and, therefore, and we've got the Z values. So the probability of 0 0.3 is 0 0.5, to, it gives you Sorry, the, the, prob the probability of 0 0.3 is, is given by the Z value of 0 0.5224. Okay, now if we consider that, okay, what they're saying is basically the Z value of 0 0.5224, let me just confirm that. Yeah, 0 0.5224. Okay, this is from that table where we have this side is the probability and this is the Z value, but this is the area, the probability to the right of this value. So this is, this is the 0 0.3 and this is 0 0.5224. As they're symmetrical, the, the Z value we're looking for is below the mean, so it's going to be minus 0 0.5224. So now we've got to find what time, what actual time gives us this, this value. This is like the standardized value, 0 0.5224, standard deviation is below the mean. So the time is going to be given by, um, remember we have Z equals X minus mu over the standard deviation. So now we're going to have uh, our Z value is minus 0 0.5224 and we, the time that we're looking for minus the mean which is 16.12 over the standard deviation, 6 over 1.6. So I'll just continue down here. So, so run out of space. So we're going to have 1.6 multiplied by minus 0 0.5224 is equal to t minus 16.12. So we'll just do that. 1.6 multiplied by minus 0 0.5224 and add 16.12. And that gives us 15 point, so the time is 15 point, what does it say? 28416, 228416. And they want it to two decimal places, so it's 15.28. Okay, 15.28 seconds, this is 100 meters race. Okay, so there we have the answer to two decimal places.